as we take a live look above North Hills right now, this skyline view could look a lot different in the future as debate swirls over new skyscrapers. Within the last hour, the Raleigh City Council decided to take a little more time to consider a developer's request to rezone parts of North Hills to build even taller towers. WRO's Matt Tallhelm is live along Six Forks Road to tell us what happens next. Matt. Well, Gerald and Deborah, City Council wants to take that time to take a closer look at some of the impacts that redeveloping the shopping area and parts of it here could have on getting around, especially here in North Hills. A neighborhood group is fighting this rezoning request. They say that building 30 and 40 story towers is just too tall in this area that's already has so much traffic. The conveyor of clothes spins at Brothers Cleaners like it has for decades in North Hills, even though the shop has moved around. We've been here and keep, keep clicking. Owner Tom Hilker remembers the first location in a strip where Target is today. Back in the 60s, that was, that was the first one. And then they moved us uh, over to a, a new building over here. A photo of that second location hangs behind the counter. And we stayed there until they tore that down and did all this. Now their third home here is in the way of plans to build up North Hills. I don't know where everybody's coming from. That's just, that's unbelievable. Uh, and the traffic is going to be horrendous. The dry cleaner is in this block. Kane Realty is requesting a rezoning to build up to 12 stories here. On land facing the belt line along Lassiter Mill Road, the developer wants to go as high as 30 stories. Towers as tall as 40 stories could rise up along Six Forks Road, where shoppers search for parking spots in the North Hills Main District now. Kane calls them underutilized parcels. A reasonable density is not 40 stories high. I mean, that's so high that you're in the clouds. Larry Helfont is president of the Midtown Citizens Advisory Council. He's shared the neighborhood group's opposition to the rezoning with city council. A lot of they talk to me about is traffic, traffic, traffic. Councilors are sending that rezoning request to a committee to take a closer look at the impacts the project could have on getting around North Hills. Kane is offering land for a new transit center within the redevelopment. I think if people want to develop properties around here, they should also provide the infrastructure that's being done. Kane is also offering land to expand Raleigh Fire Station Number 9, which is already here in North Hills. It would have the space to put a ladder truck in that would be able to respond to all those taller towers. Right now, the closest ladder truck is about six minutes away. The developer says that land for the transit center and the fire station are worth about 20 to 25 million dollars in this. Now, I did reach out to Kane Realty today to talk about this rezoning, but we have not heard back. A very comprehensive plan. Let's see what happens. Matt Tallhelm, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Matt.